you've clearly, because of the show, the Hulu show and the success of your book, Dope Sick, has it's propelled you to a, a sort of spotlight. And I just, I'm interested because you have to spend your time as a local community. You need to earn the trust of these communities to report on them and get close to them. And you're in trap houses and you visit prisons. And how do you, how do you combat sort of the, the undo the, the media attention to try to, you know, reincorporate back to these communities, and continue <laughs> your work. Is, is that a, is that a challenge as, as a well, I don't know because the Hulu show is kind of brand new. I was doing most of the reporting before the show came out. I was already a best-selling author, but these people don't tend to know that. No. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you that that jail that I profiled that wasn't doing things the right way that had twice as many people as they should have people were dope sick in the intake area i mean they only let me in because i was beth macy an author that they had heard of but they thought that that letting me in would buttress their argument for building a better jail and (laughs) it to me it just built buttress the argument for treatment and and diverting people from jail so but again like they haven't read all the research that I had. So it's really an educational. I don't think these cops are all necessarily bad people. No. I mean, they legitimately thought if I saw how crowded they were, I would think the answer was a bigger jail. No, the answer is to put humanity back into our institutions. I mean, they're getting their bigger jail because it was already yep. underway, right? <laughs> but um, but being like having your name as an executive producer on a Peabody winning show and being nominated for Emmys, that doesn't make what I do easier. It, no. <laughs> I mean, it might get me a call with the drug czar, you know, but it's not going to like help me out in the communities, which is what I most care about. Mm-hmm.